Hey guys, welcome to my channel! This is a Twin Flames reading. Messages from Divine Masculine! Yes, it's true. This is Messages from Divine Masculine. <laughs> or something like that. Happy Saturday, everybody. I hope I didn't scare you too much. Or do I? <laughs> Divine Masculine. Why am I qualified to give you a reading on the Divine Masculine? Well, I don't know, but... I'm, I'm what you call Divine Feminine, so if, if that helps, so be it. My Twin Flame, who is a woman, is what you call Divine Masculine, and I am what you call Divine Feminine. So, I don't know, I guess, I, I guess Divine Masculine is going to get a reading from the Divine Feminine right now, right? And that's probably what it usually is. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Saturday. I know I certainly am. Got something very interesting that I wanted to talk with you about. I have a new video coming out Monday where I'm going to revisit the subject of what are twin flames. Yes, should be a good one. And, uh, you know... I've been thinking about it, how I'm going to, you know, explain like why you should listen to me, but maybe I won't bother doing that in the video. Um, and I don't think I need to actually. The, the last What Are Twin Flames video that I did is the most well-liked video that I have on my entire channel. It has the highest like to dislike ratio out of all the videos that I've ever done it's like over 98% likes versus dislikes so it must be resonating with people which is great and it's pretty clear why that would be I mean if you watch that video you're going wait a minute this guy is actually talking about science and physics and explaining this in a way that makes sense. Yeah, right. And you know, I think I think my goal in life here is I want to legitimize Twin Flames. It should be legitimized. It should be. Because right now, if you look at the situation in the general spiritual community, Twin Flames is regarded as kind of a pop culture-y, junk food information, you know, junk, junk information. It's like romanticized, you know, it's kind of fakey, like Hollywood or something, right? You, know, you understand what I'm saying? When you look at Twin Flame information that you can find on the internet, it's very pop culture-y, romanticized, junk information. If I was a very serious spiritual teacher, you know, somebody like Deepak Chopra or Eckhart Tolle, you know, or the Dalai Lama or somebody like that, like a, an actual legit spiritual teacher, I would look at Twin Flames and laugh. I would say, that's silly. Get out, get out of here with that. That's kind of a weird, you know, that's like on par with, I, I don't know, just... I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to compare it to. There, there's a lot of things. Just the whole general, like when you see spiritual teachers on YouTube and on the internet talking about spiritualism in very pop culturey, romanticized kind of way. I mean, it's very ego based because you're looking to get something out of it, which really flies in the face of spiritualism. Well, anyway, that's just the impression that I think people have of Twin Flames. Like, oh, well, that's kind of silly. Because they make it sound like it's um, soulmates only better or something like that. And I don't see 
serious minds in the general spiritual community, like the actual serious spiritual teachers out there, really taking it seriously. You know, especially somebody like Deepak Chopra or Greg Braden or somebody like that who is focused on a science-based approach to consciousness and spiritualism. And that's exactly what Twin Flames should be. Here, I'm going to move this camera a little bit, maybe. Okay. Anyway, guys, just food for thought. Something I've been thinking about. I think Twin Flames is a great way to scientifically prove that there is such a thing as a soul. I'm pushing 2,000 students that I've coached now to date. And I have a lot of data. You could actually prove that this is real. And if it's real, well then, I guess that proves that there is such a thing as a soul. We can actually observe it in the 3D. Isn't that nice? I think so too. I think so too, you guys. Oh my goodness. Look at what we have here at the bottom of the deck. It's that High Priestess card again coming out in the reverse. That High Priestess card has been around. So Divine Masculine is afraid of losing Divine Feminine. Well, cry me a fucking river, Divine Masculine. Maybe you should have thought about that before you did all the things you did up to and including running away from me, ghosting me, etc. Right? Right. You big oof, Divine Masculine. But they are very worried about losing you. Whether they are talking to you or not, that's another matter. It's very possible that they're not talking to you right now. It doesn't matter. They're thinking about you. And by the way, how do you know they're not following you around on social media? And I'm not just saying that to present some kind of conjecture to you. I can tell you from experience as a seasoned twin flame coach that it happens all the time, right? And I refer to this phenomenon as divine creepy pants, right? Because I'm funny, right? It's divine creepy pants instead of divine masculine. So they're being a creepy stalker, following you on social media, driving past your house. Why are they driving past your house when they live on the other end of town? Why is there this John Smith profile following me around? They're being a creepy stalker. It's divine creepy pants. It happens all the time. And I lost track a long time ago of how many students I have where this seems to be a thing, like they've actually caught their twin flame red-handed doing this. So they're kind of freaking out right now, <clears throat> Divine Masculine. They don't know what to do because they're stuck between two worlds. Do they stay with you, or I mean with the so-called karmic, or do they go to be with you? Do they leave the karmic and go to be with you? Do they stay with the karmic? And they're kind of juggling and struggling. And I don't think this energy is going to last, guys. I'm pretty sure Divine Masculine is either going to have to make a decision or they're going to have their ass handed to themselves very soon. They're not going to lose contact with you. They're just not. <clears throat> They'll do anything they can to keep you in their life, even if it means just contacting you a little bit from time to time to keep the conversation going, whatever that is. They're not going to let you <clears throat> not be in their life completely ever. They're, they're always going to be there, right? So, recent past, Divine Masculine, Page of Wands, okay. Yeah, exactly. So, this is this energy. I think I'm going to take a new approach to this. Uh, maybe I can kind of keep Divine Feminine in the picture, you, right? Keep you in the picture while I'm sorting things out with the so-called karmic. All right. Towards the so-called karmic, it's the Page of Swords in reverse and the Three of Swords. Ouch! Yeah, exactly. Divine Masculine's been cussing and fussing with their so-called karmic situation, fighting, arguing. I mean, they might look all cool on social media. You know how people do that, right? They, they post things on social media. Everybody does this, right? Like they post things on social media. Everything's going great. Everything's fine. No problem. Everything's beautiful. My life is terrific. You know it's a bunch of bullshit. Everybody does that. And so if you see Divine Masculine on social media posting stuff like that, you know it's not true. You know it's not true. And that's exactly why you guys get tarot readings, isn't it? So you can find out what the truth is. Yeah, well, their home life is kind of fucked up right now. 
And they're also desperate to not lose control with you, Divine Feminine, the world in reverse, the Ace of Cups in reverse, oops. You know, they're afraid of losing you. They don't want this cycle to end. Now, what they're thinking is they're going to kind of just keep things the way that they've been. And you're like, uh, no, motherfucker, we're not going to keep things the way it's been. You always keeping me at an arm's length, either just telling me, like, like some of you are like, having an affair with your twin flame. Some of you are being ghosted by your twin flame. Some of you get some contact from them, but not much. But they never quite ever all the way leave you alone, do they? Do they? No, they don't. Even if you're not in contact with them, you know they're watching you from afar on social media and stuff like that. Why do they do that? Well, it's because you are them. You two are connected. You're one soul. And every time you feel this urge to like walk away, pull away from them, that's when they show up, right? That's when they text you or something. Whenever you feel like I finally let this person go, that's when they start talking to you. Okay, so this is why there's, this is why Divine Masculine struggles with that. It's your energy and that's exactly what I teach my students. And you guys are really putting, th putting them through the ringer right now. Like they're not gonna be able to completely ever move away from you. They're not going to cycle you out ever. And they're just trying to figure out how to do that. But their whole approach right now is a fucked up approach. It's all about juggling. Like, how can I keep this karmic situation while keeping Divine Feminine kind of in my life right now? And, and that seems to be their intention is to keep things the way it has been. And I don't think they're going to be allowed to do that according to this tarot reading, right? They're thinking, oh, I'll just be able to keep my Divine Feminine, you, right? I'll just be able to keep them kind of at an arm's length all the time. And it's not going to work. Look at this. The universe in reverse, this card is unique to this tarot deck that I'm using. It's called the Quantum Tarot, recommended to me by a viewer. This is like the world on steroids, basically, this card. Okay. I think it's actually more like the Wheel of Fortune on steroids. Now it's coming out in the reverse. Well, the Wheel of Fortune came out in reverse up here anyway. So now that energy amplified and moved to center stage. You're not going to be allowed to keep doing this divine masculine. And the more that you resist, the more painful it's going to get. And look, this is exactly what I was just talking about. We have the moon and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Very interesting. The moon and the ten of wands. Did I do that right? I feel like I just, whatever. It's the moon and the ten of, yeah, that's the moon. Duh. It's the moon and the ten of wands in reverse. So, mystery. Mystery. Right? I don't know where this is going. And I'm having a really hard time setting this burden down. And I don't even know why I'm doing this anymore. Why am I still in this situation? Divine Masculine doesn't even realize what they're doing. It's like they can't even see their own hand in front of their face. You know what I mean? It's that subconscious belief system that you don't even know is there. Why do people do the things they do? And Divine Masculine is feeling this very heavy karmic energy right now. When you resist changes that are gonna manifest whether you like it or not, it's painful. And Divine Masculine is really feeling it right now. Now, towards you, Divine Feminine, it's a little bit of a different story. So this is an improvement. The King of Swords and the Three of Cups. Right. So Divine Masculine looking to be everybody's hero, but especially focused on you. Like I said, they don't want to lose you right now. That's why the High Priestess comes out in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. So Divine Masculine, a little panicked right now and really trying to put on their A game towards you, Divine Feminine. That's what's coming up for this week. And you know, I, I gotta tell you, Divine Feminine, you must be doing a really good job of aligning with your soul to make Divine Masculine panic like this. Yeah, exactly. 
Divine Masculine, so torn between two worlds, but they are shitting themselves about losing you for good. They're afraid you might just walk away. How can this be? How can this be? Well, that's the energetic alignment with a higher consciousness. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, you can go watch my free videos. There's a playlist for those of you that are new to my channel where I have assembled all of the videos where I talk about Twin Flames into one convenient playlist. That playlist is called How to Get Your Twin Flame. Why should you watch my Twin Flame videos? Well, because I was able to attract my Twin Flame to me like magic and I've coached almost 2,000 people on how to get their twin flame to come to them. You can go read testimonials at my website. There's a link in the description box below. So go to my website and read testimonials from my students, past and present. I have students who are with their twin flame, married to their twin flame. Guys, having amazing spiritual breakthroughs. Of course you should go watch my videos. And getting your twin flame to be with you isn't even the best part. What you become is the best part. And hey, I got one better. If you want to work with the best, me. If you want to work with the best and my team of dedicated coaches, hit me up, guys. Go to my website. There's a link in the description box below. You can sign up for the Introduction to the Journey online video coaching package. 25% off when you pay in full good through July 31st. I extended the sale. There's a coupon code in the description box below. Use that coupon code when you check out and get an additional 25% off my already really low prices. I don't charge that much money. Other coaches charge thousands of dollars, guys. I do not do that. It's only a few hundred bucks. And when you use the coupon code below in the description box at my website, when you check out, when you pay in full, you get another 25% off through July 31st, the introduction to the journey, online video coaching package, eight and a half hours of instructional videos. You're not gonna have that many questions by the time you're done watching. I will give you action steps to align with your soul permanently. Why would you want to do that? Because you and your twin flame are the same soul. You gotta do soul stuff, guys. Go watch my free content if you're new here in the aforementioned how to get your twin flame playlist and you'll understand why I've been so successful. You're gonna watch those free videos and you're gonna go, wait a minute, this guy is different. Yeah, I know, I am different. Way different than anything that you've seen before. And I'm not just up here tooting my own horn and bragging. I mean, maybe a little bit, but it's kind of for your benefit, guys. I know there's a lot of junk information out there about Twin Flames, and I'm here to fix that. I found the true way of Twin Flames. That's why my Twin Flame is coming over to my house all the time, calling me all the time. We're hanging out all the time, and my students, same thing. Same thing with my students, guys. You absolutely have the power to get your Twin Flame to come be with you and live an amazing life. So I'll help you make that permanent lifestyle change to shift energetically into your soul permanently, which is your twin flame. After you're done watching the online video course, you and I get to talk in either a one-on-one -on -one or in the group coaching calls, up to four calls a week in the Get Your Twin Flame Spiritual Coaching System, about four to five hours of additional coaching every single week, and a free trial to those calls is included with your original purchase. And if you decide to stay on those calls, it's also very inexpensive to stay on those calls. I make things very easy for you guys. If you can't afford to pay in full, I also have payment plans. You can start for like 50 or 60 bucks. Guys, I got everything. I got free content that you've never seen before. I got the tarot readings. I got the live Q and A's where you can ask me questions for free. I got the coaching packages. I got the group coaching calls. I got everything guys. I've got two coaches assisting me, 2000 students. What have you got to lose? Uh, nothing. And it's not even that much money, guys. All right, let's see what's going on with Miss Roxy today. What's up, Roxy? What's up, girl? What you got for Divine Masculine today? I felt something over here. Oh, yeah. Which one is it? It's one of the... Oh, shit. Is it that one? Uh, yeah, it's that one for sure. 
I can feel it pulling at me like a magnet. What the actual hell? Now I know what this card is. This came out yesterday, guys. Hope. Two days in a row. That hasn't happened in a long time. Guys, the message couldn't be more clear. Now I see what that card is talking about. Divine Masculine is kind of afraid to lose you. All they've got to hang on to is hope. They know you're going to walk away. A lot of you have experienced this dark night of the soul, right? Where you're clinging, you're looking desperately for answers, you're trying to figure it out. You feel like shit, you feel like your life is over. You're acting desperate, acting weird towards them. But many of you have moved past that and you're kind of being indignant about it. And I can't blame you for that. I was there. I can't fault you for that. And Divine Masculine knows that. They sense it. Wait, shit. I might not ever be able to talk to her again. Maybe she's had it with my shit. Yeah, Divine Masculine, you could say that again. Look at this. The Five of Swords in reverse. Uh, yeah. So, are they going to come at you, correct? Probably not. Probably not. But understand that Divine Masculine, it's the tables have turned. They're going to start coming at you with that kind of desperate energy because you're shifting energetically, Divine Feminine. You're shifting into a higher consciousness, which is your soul, which is your twin flame. Look at this, towards the so-called karmic. Ouch! Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Ooh, damn. Ooh, damn. Talk about walking away from a painful situation. I mean, maybe just to make a display to you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine is going to walk out on the karmic, start a fight with them. It's going to be a lot of pain and misery at home for Divine Masculine. I mean, the Knight of Swords in reverse, or I'm sorry, Cups in reverse, taking the whole romantic connection with this karmic person and throwing it right out the damn window. It's going to be painful. I'm kind of feeling for them right now. Towards you. Divine Feminine, the Five of Wands, and Temperance in reverse. Very interesting. So, Divine Masculine, pretty upset by the thought of losing you. They're going to be, uh, I mean, look, here's the thing. They're either going to be like just flat out desperate and pining for you and begging you to talk to them, or it's going to be more subtle because of, you know, pride. That's what they do, right? So it could just be that they're going to reach out and try to talk to you and see how you're doing and it's been a while since you've heard from them or you're going to find somebody's watching you on social media, you know, like I said earlier, Divine Creepy Pants. They're going to make sure that they can get a hold of you if they need to at minimum, at minimum. This is why you get tarot readings, right? Because you want to know what the truth is. You're trying to find out what they're up to and they're watching you. I always feel like somebody's watching me. It must be Divine Creepy Pants. Whoa. Yeah, you can count on that one. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification icon when you subscribe, if you choose to subscribe. Also, that like button. That would be real nice if you could hit that like button for me, guys. Happy Saturday. I'll be back tomorrow for Divine Feminine, and I'll see you then. Bye.